Yeah, there are a number of things that are really great about Stanford that I think are different from other places. Uh, one idea is this kind of open entrepreneurial spirit that pervades the university. Uh, sometimes that's associated most with starting companies, but I think the same attitude applies to research that people are open-minded and looking for new research ideas and so when a new opportunity comes along, we all try to figure out how we can best uh, take advantage of a new opportunity and look at, look at new problems. In the computing area, it's really the best place on the planet, really. We have a good university, uh, the best students in the world clamoring to get in, and really a short uh, drive away from most of the leading companies. I think there's an opportunity here both to look uh, long term at research problems, but also to get input from companies and other uh, organizations locally to try to get a good mix. You know, my favorite thing in research is to find a problem that everybody can understand, a problem whose solution is valuable, but also there's something deep and scientific and challenging for students mm -hmm. in going from the problem to its solution. Computing is a really great field for that. There's the very deep mathematical technical issues, but also we're, you know, on the front page of the business section a lot, and so there are a lot of things that are relevant accessible, but also scientifically deep. And I think the interaction with companies helps here, mm -hmm. and also being a, a, a long-standing, established research university means we have the time and the infrastructure and the values placed on good science. So it's a perfect mix for me. Mm -hmm. Well, there are a couple of different levels. One, I think, is that by talking to people, uh, I get an understanding of what the trends are and what the interests are. So at the beginning when planning a course or a lecture on a topic, the most important thing probably that anyone teaching does is figure out what they want to cover and what they don't want to cover. So that's always informed by what's going on, what am I hearing about what people are interested in, and as part of that, often you talk with somebody in a company and they'll say, here's the problem I have, I can't figure this out. And the problem really is not just that isolated incident, but the problem they're having is an example of a larger kind of lack of our current technology or lack of our current understanding about something. So I try to go from the specifics to something general and then use that to figure out what are promising directions for research and then the selection of what to teach and what to cover in classes is also based on that kind of understanding. Yeah, so security is, a, is an interesting and important issue. It's also, in a sense, kind of an add-on. No one buys a phone because it's secure. You buy it for some other purpose. Nobody buys a laptop because it's secure. It's an additional feature. So the field of security really involves understanding security mechanisms, how to understand the security issues, and how to add them or integrate them in, into other projects. So one part of bringing security out into industry and, and application involves projects that help people become educated, both about security mindset and, and mechanisms, and also about other topics as they evolve, so that we can bring security into applications where it's needed.